Hey guys, look, I just got a quick message for you guys. If anyone's coming to Bali around sort of mid to late March this year, it's really important that you understand that there's one day that you're gonna be here, possibly, that you won't be able to do any activities, you can't go to the pub, you might not even be allowed to go down to the pool, and you certainly can't go to the beach. And it's called Nyepi Day. It's on the 22nd of March, 2023, and it's what they commonly known as Silent Day. Now on Nyepi or New Year's Day in, in the local Balinese calendar, you're not allowed out of your room. In fact, in the past, they've turned the internet off. They've, they've, you're not allowed any lights emitting outside of the room. And, and they take this very, very seriously. So you'll find that every single place, including the airport, is closed. The hospital stays open, but to get to hospital, you've got to call the local constabulary or the Petulang and they'll take you down there. You have to be escorted. You certainly can't go running around by yourself. You're not allowed out of your hotel rooms and no shops are open. If you're making a noise in your room or in your house, the, the local constabulary are likely to start bashing on the door or throwing stones or rocks at your windows. They take it bloody seriously. And it's all, again, it's also about smoke coming from, from the house. So you're not allowed to have a fire. You're not allowed to have any light emitting from the from the, the house at all. So your blinds must be pulled even at night time and stuff like that. And it's gotta be dead, dead quiet. Now it's the most eerie, the most freaky sort of time to ever be in Bali. Bali's normally bustling and hustling in here, tooting horns all over the place. And, and, and there's always activity. But one day a year, the 22nd of March, 2023, it's dead quiet. Airport's closed, you name it. So why, why do they do this? Okay, well it's pretty interesting. I was here last year and I'm gonna put some, some images up from what we filmed last year because I was just fascinated, but I was still learning my way through it. So look, on the day before Nyepi, on, on New Year's Eve, their style, they have a huge celebration and for weeks they prepare these giant statues and they're big demonic human-like effigies made of paper mache and sometimes they've got six arms or snake heads or fish heads it's crazy they look like demons and dragons and oh but the, the detail is unbelievable i went for a drive up through the village and look i'll put some of the images up because I was just blown away at how much detail. The whole village, you get all the youngsters out there painting them up and, and moulding them. It must take them weeks and weeks and weeks to get these, these giant ogor ogor, these demonic statues. And the, the, as I understand, the meaning behind it is they, they're getting all the bad spirits and all the evil and all the naughty and uh, the negativity from last year and they, they, they pack it into this statue and then they burn the statue at the end of the day and that releases all those negative energies up into the atmosphere. Now once these sta these, these negative um, energies are floating around in the, in the atmosphere, they're looking for a home. And you'll find that all the villages and all the houses have these little like triangular um, bamboo baskets out the front, they look like a little birdcage. Um, and it's exactly what they're designed. They've got little treats or something in there, little offerings. And as I understand it, it's to try to attract the negative spirits to sort of catch them. And, and, and that way they can release them somewhere else or get rid of them again. But it's to stop them getting into the house and stop them staying. And the reason behind this quiet day, it goes back thousands of years probably, but as all of these entities are floating around looking for a new home, if your village is dead quiet and there's no lights and there's no smoke and there's no sound coming from the village, then then the the negative demons or, or whatever you want to call them go, oh, the spirits go, well, there's no one here. I'll just keep going till I find where they're... They must have moved. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> so this is, the, this is the, I guess, the backstory behind Silent Day. It's to try to trick the, the bad omens from last year in the hanging around again next year pretty cool idea i reckon but it does mean it's a bit of a disadvantage if you've just come over all the way from from australia and you haven't been told by the hotel or oh, by the way are you aware of nepi day now i did have a quick look on agoda 
and on, on Google, and there were some hotels with nappy packages that have special activities for kids, and I did see that some of them are advertising uh, pool or, or uh, outdoor activities. It would be within closed walls, I'd say, and some of the some of the activities, obviously, the spirits can't see from the outside what's going on, on the inside, neither can the police, I guess. Look, check it out. If you're coming here in, in uh, mid to late March, it could affect you. I definitely won't be able to fly in on that day because the airports are shut. But I t look, it's a really strange and un a, a, like unusual time. Everything is shut down. Everything's quiet. It's about the only time I can walk outside and film. Well, I can't because not allowed outside. But it's the only time I don't get bothered by motorbikes and cars going down my little laneway. Um, so, 22nd March is Nepi Day. The celebration beforehand in the villages is amazing. And if you're going to be in Bali, let me know because I've been personally invited to one of the biggest villages here in Denpasar to go and check out their their whole day's worth of ceremony. And there's a whole ritual. There's lots and lots of cultural things. They have a feast. They burn this giant big effigy. There's this ogle, ogle. And um, yeah, look, I'm really looking forward to it because it's going to be really fascinating. So look, if you are going to be in Bali and you didn't realise it, now's a good time to get on your travel agent and see what you're going to do about your dates. Hey, listen, you know what? It's only one day in, in the whole trip. I would suggest if you are going to be over here and you didn't know about it, a couple of things you could do. Um, download a couple of movies before you come over, put them on your laptop on a memory stick and hopefully the, the TV in the hotel room can play a USB stick. That's not a bad idea. Bring a book. That's not, that's not a bad idea. Just sit down, relax. And I'll tell you what, if you think about it, the best thing you can probably do on, on your holiday is have one whole day where you're just sitting back doing nothing. Save your duty free for nippy night. <laughs> Here we go, yes, that's a thought. Get a whole bottle of bourbon, get yourself some coke or something before the epi, because you're not going to get it on the day. <laughs> All the shops are shut, everything's shut. So make sure you're cashed up and ready to go. Bottle of bourbon, a couple of bottles of coke, <laughs> a good book, maybe a movie or something. Put your feet up, relax, fall asleep, pass out, whatever you want. <laughs> just have some fun with it listen it is Bali and it's different that's one of the reasons that we travel around the world is to, to meet different cultures and see different things and this is definitely definitely very different um, this is what I filmed last year and I was fascinated I went for a drive right up through the villages and saw these amazing every single village has its own little temple and its own ceremony going on and oh wow it was just I can't believe the amount of work these guys put into it the detail of these statues they've got bits of hair hanging off them and they've got fish scales and it was wow it was it was i was blown away so this year i'm going to be filming it more if i can i'm going to see if i can go out with the petulang with the local police and and actually film from an outsider's point of view um or just how how incredibly spooky it is to be walking around a village that's dead dead quiet um anyway there you go. <laughs> Happy New Year, Bali style, 2023. Cheers, guys.